Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Now, this is a funky picture. We are playing with a telephoto lens adapter. Ooh. It's kind of like half my picture has gone, right? So if we zoomed right in. Oh, would you look at that? Wow, well, that's, that's kind of different. Oh, now the light is finally getting in. Wow, we can really zoom in on some stuff there, right? Eh? Teleo photo. And we zoom out and we get this kind of a picture. Kind of wild. Why did I buy a telephoto lens? Maybe somebody can tell me why I did it because I, I don't know. Um, yeah, because it's a telephoto lens and it does some pretty neat stuff. And I don't know why I wanted it. I thought maybe it would, you know, like give me something for a zoom thing, but apparently it really doesn't do much um, other than makes this big weird hole and takes away a lot of my picture. And unless you zoom right in and then you're okay. It's like, hey, that's pretty cool. I wonder what it's like without it at that same range. So we're gonna leave this alone. We're gonna see if this was really worth buying after all. There's a lot of threads on this one, unlike our wide angle lens that had a lousy amount of threads. Okay, focus. Well, that actually does zoom things in a little bit. You know, it's like, okay, that's reasonable. Now, while we're at it and I got this thing off here, this is the Vivitar HD4MC AF high definition 2.2X telephoto converter. Japan optics with a lot of threads too. No macro uh, thingy, it's just Little thing screws right on there and there are lots of threads, away we go. So let's put that funky lens back on this thing. Now, guys, I, I've been around cameras my entire life, okay? Um, I've never used this kind of a lens before in my life. Um, whoa, I like how it clears right up. Um, I think it's kind of a, it adds like a neat little effect too, especially when you leave it zoomed out. It's like, I'm so much in here. Um, it's pretty tiny. I'm tiny. I don't know. I'm losing a lot of space though, because watch this. Wow. Hey, I'm gone. The wide angle lens would come in real handy here because you'd still see me, but not with this thing. That's kind of freaky. Um, I've never used one of these lens types even on a 35 millimeter camera. You know those things that used film back in the day? Um, so for those of you who don't know what film cameras were, <laughs> look them up. They're kind of cool. Um, but I, I have used uh, a lens that would zoom things in really freaking close. Uh, when I was a kid growing up, I used to have cameras and my dad was a bit of a camera addict and between me and him, um, we actually had our own, um, uh, what do you call it, dark room, right? In the house, we built our own dark room, got all the color in larger and all the chemicals and all that stuff and we were just like camera freaks. Uh, my sister was a little bit into it, but it was more me and my dad than anything. Um, but we, me and my dad each had some pretty nice high-end cameras. And the first camera he actually bought me for a real 35 mil, even though it was used, was a uh, Practica 4. And uh, it was a really nice camera. I don't know what ever happened to it. But I could swap lenses between mine and his. It's like universal stuff, right? So he gives me this big honking lens the one day. And I'm mean, like shooting pictures of the sun and, you know, the moon. You could pretty much see into the craters of the moon. It was a really nice lens. Uh, so I was able to get some really beautiful shots of the moon. Um, but, um, of course, back then, cameras really kind of sucked when it came to picking up the stars at night. You know, they weren't the greatest for that. Um, at least not my experience. If there was, I didn't have the tech for that. Um, but nowadays, cameras are fantastic and they're digital and you can take pictures of the stars without a problem if you got a good enough camera. Um, so I got to thinking, you know, like, no, nah, let's try this telephoto thing out because I, I have no experience with a telephoto. Um, but I do think it does create a really neat effect. And at least when you do zoom in all the way, it uh, kind of takes away that, you know, whole circular block out thing, right? So that, that's, that's kind of a neat thing. And it does actually, you know, bring things a little closer. I wouldn't say, well, you know what, zoomed all the way out like that, well, with the thing zoomed all the way in, um, I'd say, yeah, we're probably about two times closer at least um, in the view. And then we back stuff right off. So we zoom out, 
Now this is only a, uh, an 18, uh, well my lens is actually only 18 to 55. Um, so, you know, that, that's actually not bad. Um, that now makes it look like it's like, you know, across the other side of the, uh, the planet there. It's like, hey, distance! Okay, so I even, I can go back here and I've only moved about three feet. Um, so yeah, that's, it actually does, it does work well. So I'm pretty cool with that. I don't know for sure what I would use a telephoto lens for entirely, um, but in this case, hey, we're testing stuff out today. We're doing some reviews for you guys, let you know what we think of this pile of accessories that we bought for our DSLR. Um, but I am, I'm going to definitely have to research more into telephoto lenses and what they're really good for using for. Like what are their best served purposes is what I'm going to find out and see if I can use it for anything. Um, you know, if I can, cool. If I can't, well, it'll stay in the bag. But I'm pretty sure I will get use of it because I could actually do some different really funky stuff with this thing regardless. So I know I will get use out of my investment into this lens and besides it didn't cost me that much so what do I care? It's not that expensive anyways. It's those big honking lenses it's like oh <laughs> mortgage the house oh wait i don't own a house <laughs> sell something <laughs> body parts there you go and <laughs> chop off an arm here you go um no some some of the some of the parts for cameras are just ridiculously insane i was looking at a um a um zoom lens i'll call it a zoom lens um that was like 300 millimeter and i was like That was bad. I was like, man, I, I'd have to like donate like both my kidneys or some or sell both my kidneys or something. You know, really expensive, but it's kind of like, well, you know, you think things would get cheaper over time. They actually sometimes don't. Uh, they get more and more expensive. Um, but you know, the 300 mil lens is nice, and the features on it were amazing, and it just works with my camera. Um, but it's not something I can afford right now, nor do I actually need at this point. Um, but we shall see what happens in the future down the road. But in the meantime, the telephoto lens, I think it's a pretty good little winner. It also has plenty of threads, like I said, unlike that wide angle lens we tested out. Didn't have much thread there and flipping the thing over ain't gonna make a difference. So we have to try and find some workarounds for that one. But this one, no workarounds. Lots of thread, works absolutely perfect, screws onto your existing uh, lens. So you're not having to, you know, like take off a lens and, you know, cause this thing just, it just a little unit just right on the front and away you go. Um, anyway, so that is kind of a nice thing because it does save you a lot of money when you can use your existing lens, right? And uh, so that is a bonus because I think I paid like 25 bucks or something for this lens. It was ridiculously cheap. You know, that's why I figure it's not a big loss if I don't like what it does. Um, you know, but I, I think it does create a kind of a really neat effect, you know, and we can just like kind of like zoom in just a little bit and, you know, we can like, you know, really get close up here and you can probably see in behind the corners of my eyes. I don't know, maybe. Um, you can definitely see a lot of detail, that's for sure. And if we go like this, la, give it time. It, it'll autofocus, maybe. Nope. Oh, if we move the chair, it will. There we go. We just got a little enough light in and voila. Anyways, so here's my, my thoughts and feelings and my opinion. Um, but first, let's unscrew this thing. That's kind of cool. Um, I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's not very big, you know, like it doesn't take up a lot of space. Um, you know, it has its own built-in ring, so there's no like, you know, taking it off. Um, but uh, it does come with protective caps, definitely. So, you know, that's that's kind of bonus. So this way you can protect your lenses, not have to worry about dust or scratching them, that sort of thing. And throw her back into the little baggie that came with it and uh, back into your camera bag it goes. So, um, I, w I would say, um, like I said, I'm not entirely sure the uses I would get for myself, but I wanted one anyways. My wife has one that she got, <coughs> same one. Uh, and you know, we're not very good at sharing with each other. That's why we, you know, have each our own cameras and you know, we have our own lenses because I don't even want to borrow her stuff, you know, because if something happened, I'm like, uh, now I feel bad, now I gotta replace it. You know, it'd be simpler. She breaks it, she replaces it. Too simple, right? So we don't share our camera gear, okay? Um, 
and that's fair, you know, and we're both YouTubers, so we both need our own stuff anyways. Um, but uh, I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll try one of these telephoto thingies out. She's more in-depth into cameras um, than probably what I really got into. She actually knows a lot more, because she used to sell them for a living at one time. Um, so she definitely knows more about cameras than me. Um, but we're both still new into the digital world, though, that's the thing. You know, we, we, we come from the generation of, you know, 110 one film and 35 millimeter or 8 millimeter stuff and all that other jazz, you know, like antique stuff. Not that we're antique, we're probably getting close there in a few more years, but, you know, the thing is, it's cool tech, right? And if we can make some use out of this stuff and make videos that are cooler, why not? Take cooler pictures too, why not? You know, so you gotta have the toys. So it's nice having these screw-on type lenses that go into your existing lenses, because it saves you a lot of money, right? Um, so, but anyways, other than that, I think I would definitely have to say I like it. I think it was worth the, like, I think, I, like I said, I think I paid about like 25 bucks or something for it. It was cheap. I got it on Amazon. Um, but uh, it is a brand name, which is a big thing too, right? Um, and brand name that's been around since the Stone Age and then some. Uh, so you can trust the optics are very good optics, right? And that is a big thing. You got to watch some of these off-brand stuff that's out there because it might just might not be that great, um, you know. So yeah, you buy some name brand stuff. What's under 30 bucks investment screws onto your existing lens, away you go. And and you got yourself a telephoto setup. So hey, why not? Anyhow, um I would I would definitely put this thing at an easy four and a half out of five. Now, there's reasons for this. One, it is cool, okay, and I like what it can do and it's kind of neat. Um, I like the fact there's lots of threads to screw into your existing lens with so you're not afraid of it working loose and falling off the camera. <laughs> Unlike our wide angle lens, it's like two turns and it's on the ground. Um, this one's got lots of thread. Uh, so very well made. Same company too, that's the weird thing. Anyways, but um, I, I like the effects that it can do, you know, that that's definitely key. Very clean optics, I like that as well. Of course, how clean it is, I don't know, because we're using autofocus today for once. Uh, Kevy decided to not use manual focus, um, just to experiment too at the same time. This way I can see what my DSLR can really pull off on just autofocus when I like pop in and out towards a picture. Like, what is it doing? I really can't tell. Um, anyways, you only see so much through a viewfinder. But um, I think it deserves the rating because it is quality made uh, from a quality brand, okay? The price was just so insanely cheap, I love it. Um, wherever I can save money, I try to, but sometimes I'll actually pony up the dough when I have to, you know? So, um, and you do have the protective covers, all that other jazz. Um, but like I said, I have more homework to do on telephoto on what it's really good for, for using in the most of to see if I, I could apply it into that. If not, I'll figure out a way to apply it into something interesting for you know future videos. Uh, but in the meantime, I think that's where we stand with it. The price is great, the quality is great, it's got lots of threads on it so you don't have to worry about anything you know dropping off in your hand going ah! Uh, or hitting the ground going oh my gosh! So, you're all good there. Anyways, so, um, yeah, I think we're pretty much done here. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm kind of a little spun today. <laughs> so, I'm working on about six hours of sleep. So, I'm like, ah! Anyways, um, so we'll have to try and do some more fun videos today, too, because we do have more camera to go through yet. Um, but one of those pieces, of course, are going to be a little bit differently on how we're going to have to show that one off because it's going to end up being on the camera and we'll switch it out, that sort of thing. Anyways, um, you'll get the idea. Um, but yeah, anyways, meantime, thanks so much for watching and see ya.